This is number three from the 2010 Form B exam. Um, it was on Calc A, B, and B, C. It's a rate in, rate out type of question, um, and there's really nothing unusual about it. So the first thing, we are given this chart here, P of T, which is in cubic feet per hour. It's the rate at which water is pumped into the pool. Um, so you might want to make a note on your paper that this is a rate to derivative, um, and it's water being pumped into the pool. And we are asked to approximate the total amount that goes into the pool using a midpoint Riemann sum. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to 12 of the rate at which it's pumped in. And uh, the first thing, we get a, a length of 4, and then the midpoint is 46. Then we get a length of 4, and the midpoint is 57. And a length of 4, and the midpoint is 62. And that's going to be in cubic feet. I happen to know that I'm going to need this answer later to uh, use in a different part. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate it. But if you didn't need it, you could leave it like this, unsimplified. So that's 660 cubic feet. Um, the next part, we have to uh, figure out how much leaks out in the 12-hour period. And R of T is the rate at which it's leaking out. So that'll just be the integral from 0 to 12 of R of T dt. I would have stored R of T on my calculator and then just done a definite integral. Go to three decimal places because it doesn't specify. Anytime it doesn't specify in this exam, you're going to three decimal places. And um, that's just from using the calculator. I wouldn't have done anything by hand at all on this problem other than write down what I wrote. Um, you might also store that value because you're going to need it pretty much right now. So now what we need to do is calculate, use our answers part A and B. That's what it says in the problem. Um, to calculate the amount of water in the pool at time t equals 12. So if v is the amount in the pool, then v of t is um, 1,000, the amount you start with, plus the integral from 0 to some time of the rate at which it's coming in minus the rate at which it's going out. So that's a really common idea, this rate in, rate out type of thing. So you should be on the lookout for it. And then uh, v of 12 will be 1,000 plus the integral from 0 to 12 of... Uh, P of x dx is the answer to part a, and then minus the integral from 0 to 12 of r of x dx is the answer to part b. So that's why I would have stored those on my calculator. And, uh, you know, you could figure that out, and that's going to be in uh, cubic feet. And there you go. So the next part we are doing is um, the rate at which the volume of the water in the pool is increasing at t equals 8. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, volume. So uh, R is 12, which means that never changes because it's a cylinder. So the volume is 144 pi h, and I need to find dh dt. And dv dt equals 144 pi, and then dh dt. To figure out dv dt at 8, what I need to do is, um, it's going to be the rate at which it's coming in, which is p of 8, minus the rate at which it's going out, which is r of 8. And P of 8 we get from this table here, it's 60. And R of 8 we get by punching 8 into that function on our calculator and get that. Um, so the rate of change of the volume at, the, at t equals 8 is 43.242. Um, and we're supposed to have units of measure, so that's got to be cubic feet per hour, which I've forgotten to write here, but make sure you write it on your uh, paper. Now, dhdt, I'm just going to go through and solve... Uh, the equation above there, so that's going to be dv dt divided by 144 pi, and dv dt is what I just found, so that's going to be 43.242 over 144 pi, which is approximately 0 0.096, and then that's going to be in feet per hour, um, and height is a linear measure, so it should have linear units, and the time should be the same. And that's the entire question. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.